Well, 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 we meet again. Welcome back, you guys. So today, I wanted to do a little take on um, some wearable neon makeup. I've been digging the neon trend and kind of translating that to makeup because I, I just don't feel like neon green in a t-shirt is going to be a good look for me. I don't know what to say. So I wanted to um, kind of take that trend and put it into makeup and try and make it as wearable as neons can be. Before we jump into the video, I just wanted to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by Bite, one of my favorite companies. I love working with them. I think they're just a fantastic company. I love what they're doing. Um, and I'm I'm excited for today. So without any further ado, let's just let's just dive right in to our pool of makeup luxuries. Okay, okay. I have my eye primer on. I'm just using the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer. I don't know exactly what I'm doing aside from following my heart, um, but I am gonna use the Huda Beauty Neon, um, I think this is the orange one, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna start with maybe that color. Yeah, I'm gonna start with just a little pencil brush and I am going to, oh, I'm scared. I'm going to start to sketch out a little bit of a, uh, a kind of crease wing situation. Just a word of warning, I can't remember which shades exactly, but I do recall that some of these eyeshadows stain real bad, real, real bad. So, okay, I'm drawing that out and then I am gonna take that right across my lash line on the top there. I'm gonna go about halfway in and then just leave it um, in God's hands. Yeah, I'm gonna take this little Volare E07 brush and I'm actually gonna pick up a little bit of that uh, kind of bright, I keep wanting to call it coral, but I guess it's more of an orangey color. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that. Actually, I'm gonna dabble back and forth between this color and this color here. So I'm just taking that on a small little blending brush and I'm just basically going right over top of that uh, coral that we put down. Pink, hot pink. And I'm using a super light touch because I'm just a gentle kindred spirit, that's why. I'm gonna take a little bitty brush like this and I'm gonna take a little bit of a just kind of like skin tone colored shadow and I'm going to set the rest of that eye primer going across my lid. So I wanted to put those neon shadows down directly on top of the primer, um, just so that we could get them as bright as possible kind of thing. And then I'm going over top and setting the rest where normally I would just set my eye primer kind of thing. Um, but that friggin' Anastasia primer just works so well. I can't believe it. A lot of the times, especially with colors like this that could tend to be more chalky, it just will not, it just doesn't fly when you put it over top of a wet primer. Some kind of spooky magic going into the Anastasia primer there. While I'm doing this, I'm not blending it up super, super high so that you're left with this really like blown out, like huge amount of neon shadow. We're keeping it pretty tight to that crease so that it's more so just kind of like a peak. Um, and then when you have your mascara done and stuff like that, or your lashes on or whatever you're gonna be wearing, you really will see just like a tiny little bit of that bright kind of hot pink. And then when you look down, it'll be a nice neon surprise, you know? Now I'm gonna take a little angle brush. So I'm taking a Smith 205 brush and I'm gonna pick up that same uh, pink color that we started with. And I'm just going to take that on my brush across my lash line. I just didn't want it to be too thick on that inner corner but I do wanna put a little down. I'm gonna put my mascara on, I'm gonna pop my lashes on, and then we are going to move on to our face makeup before we jump back to our eyes. I didn't put my lashes on, I wasn't ready. Um, I have my skin all prepped uh, with my skincare, sunscreen, all that good stuff. I have my concealer on because it's redundant. <laughs> you know that I'm using Becca under eye corrector, okay, I can't. Stop myself. Uh, I am going to prep my lips. I have a little bit of my mask still on, but I'm gonna prep my lips with my Bite Agave Plus uh, Daytime Lip Balm. So this guy is vegan, gluten-free, and cruelty-free. Also, they reformulated 
the original formula of the lip balm, which is very triggering for me, but I can say this is one of, if not the only, <laughs> reformulations that I stand behind. Um, I actually do feel like the reformulation is significantly better. It's a lot um, like smooth, smooth, smoother. It's a lot smoother. It glides on the lips a lot easier, um, but it's still super, super hydrating and it is beeswax free now. So I'm gonna pop a little bit of that on just to get my lips all nice and prepped. So that balm is filled with lots of agave nectar cocoa butter, love, good intentions, high spirits. It's all listed on the ingredient list. So that one's definitely been a fave for me and I like that it wears um, really well, like it lasts quite well throughout the day and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm loving life. Okay, for my skin, I'm going to keep it pretty minimal because I don't wanna go overboard um, with like the contour, the blush or anything like that because we are gonna have more dramatic eyes and we are going to have a brighter kind of more neon lip later down the road as well. So we're keeping her light, we're keeping her simple today. I have a lot of moisturizer on, which is going to kind of help um, have a little bit of a sheer application as well, but this is already quite a sheer foundation, but I'm gonna be using my Westman Atelier Stick Foundation. This is in shade three. I love this foundation so much. It just, it really does it for me, man. Um, I feel like it applies in like a really nice thin layer and it's basically just what one needs, not what one thinks they need. I feel like it does a good job of kind of like correcting skin tone and making it kind of more uniform looking, but it doesn't look like you're wearing this really intense like full coverage foundation or whatever because you're not. So I like to take that onto my brush and kind of press it first onto the areas where I feel like I need a little bit more coverage and then I'll go in a kind of circular buffing motion to blend that out towards the outskirts of town, AKA my face. And now the time has come to finish my eyeball. So I'm gonna zoom you on in. I'm gonna take this um, Ardency In Smooth Ride Supercharged Eyeliner in the color Lello. Oh, lemon, it's called lemon. Okay, oh, this is not very nice. Oh. But now it's gone. Okay, hold on. I'm having a hard time. I don't know if this is even like available still, to be honest. I haven't used anything from Ardency in, in so long. Um, I forgot about them once they were gone from Sephora. Okay, this is just Le Cousin's Dangereux, but we'll try. Okay, I'm gonna take that. Is this what I want? It's okay, okay. I'm gonna take that onto my inner waterline. Wow, this is a smooth ride, supercharged eyeliner. Oh, it's so bright on my waterline. This is so weird. I can like see the yellow. Ah! I'm gonna take a little Sigma E21 brush and I'm going to grab ugh, the yellow color from our Huda Beauty palette and we're gonna hope for the best. I'm gonna press that onto my, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna bring that right underneath my eyelashes. Is this actually going to end up being wearable neon? Well, I just don't know. I think I'm also going to take the, our little blending brush from before and that same color that we used to blend out that pink and just kind of extend it underneath. Oh, was that a huge mistake? No, I think everything's fine. That's odd but I kind of like it. Okay, lashes are on, brows are activated. I'm gonna take my Fenty bronzer in Indus Sun and I'm going to just uh, pop that onto my face. So I'm just kind of patting it on first and then I do kind of little swirling motions. I'm not sure if the swirling motions even really do much, but I just do it anyways. I didn't want to do something super warm toned and I didn't want to do something really cool toned either. I just wanted a nice kind of like neutral little bit of color, you know? Maybe I'll take a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter for a Superstar Youth Glow. Just a touch. I'm gonna take that in shade two. Take my little beauty blender and just press that into the skin in a C-ish shape. 
And that's everything for my skin. We're leaving her there. Now for my lips. So I already have my uh, lip balm on, hydrating, good to go. I like to keep this on before I apply this next product to sheer it out because that's, that's my dream. So I'm gonna be using the Bite Outburst Longwear Lip Stain. This guy is waterproof, it's long wearing, vegan, gluten-free, cruelty-free. What more do you want from me? Frankly, I didn't create this product, so I don't think you want anything from me. So I really like these guys because they wear really well, but I don't find that they kind of dry my lips out or anything. And another thing, I've mentioned this before, um, but I, I like a sheer lip. I like the idea of a lip stain, but a lot of the times I find that um, any kind of like tint or stain or whatever applies really patchy and it doesn't have kind of like a nice smooth even um, application where you're not getting little marks where it's super dark um, and a lot of the times tints like that just cling to like any dry spots on your lips and I like that these don't do that so I'm going to apply Ooh, wait a second hold on hold on I think I'm gonna mix these two okay okay I'm gonna use um, strawberry froze and orange fizz too much not enough we'll just have to see okay I'm gonna start with hmm hold on let's not be crazy okay I'm gonna start with strawberry froze and I'm going to just kind of dot that over top of our lip balm. I need a mirror. I'm being crazy right now. So I'm just pressing that onto my lips. And then I'm gonna take the orange one and just rest it atop that pink one. And I'm gonna kind of smudge those together. That's where I'm gonna leave this lip. I could and will sometimes shear it out by just applying another layer of that lip balm over top if I want to. Um, but I'm, I'm kind of like digging this a little bit brighter look today. This is supposed to be a neon look after all. I like that lip stain too because it applies more like a balm. You know, a lot of lip stains are kind of really like liquidy and they have a high alcohol concentration as well. Um, but those apply like a like little tinted lip balm and it's, it's a delight, frankly. I'm gonna zoom you guys out because we don't need to be this close anymore. So that is everything for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you liked this little neon time. I'm real bad at intros and outros as we've seen, as is we've been witness to for the past six years. Okay, huge thank you again to Bite for sponsoring today's video and thank you to you guys for supporting me as always. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.